Good evening, welcome to the Daily Office, and thank you for joining me. This is Night Prayer for Thursday, January 24th. It's the second week after the Epiphany and week two in the Psalm Cycle. The scripture for this service, Psalm 37, verse 34 to 40, and Ephesians chapter 5, verse 15 to 33. And now join me in singing the third verse of From All That Dwell, also known as the Doxology by Isaac Watts, to the tune of Old 100. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise Him, all creatures here below. Praise Him above ye heavenly hosts. Praise Father, Son, and Holy Our help is in the name of God Most High, the Maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Together. O merciful God, we have sinned through our own faults, in our thoughts and words and deeds, and in what we have failed to do. We have not loved you with our whole hearts. We have not loved our neighbor as ourselves. We beseech you. Overlook our faults and cast our sins behind your back, that we may serve you and praise you all the days of our lives. Amen. And may Almighty and merciful God grant us forgiveness of all our sins and the grace and the comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh God, come to my assistance. Make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Wait on the Most High and keep God's way. Alleluia. Psalm 37, and please recite it with me. Alleluia. Wait on the Most High and keep God's way. And God will free you from the wicked, and you will inherit the land when the wicked are destroyed you shall see it. I have seen the wicked triumphant, spreading themselves like a green bay tree, and yet they passed away. I sought them, but they could not be found. Mark the just and see the upright, for their end is peaceful, but the sinners shall be destroyed together. They have no future. The Most High saves the righteous. God is their strength in the time of trouble. The Most High shall help them and deliver them. God shall deliver them from the wicked and save them, because they trust in God. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Wait on the Most High and keep God's way. Alleluia. A reading from Paul's letter to the Ephesians, chapter 5, beginning at verse 15. Be careful, then, how you live, not as unwise people, but as wise, making the most of the time, because the days are evil. Do not be foolish, but understand what the will of the Lord is. Do not get drunk with wine, for that is debauchery, but be filled with the Spirit, as you sing psalms and hymns and spiritual songs among yourselves, singing and making melody to the Lord in your hearts, giving thanks to the God and Father at all times for everything in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Be subject to one another out of reverence for Christ. Wives, be subject to your husbands as you are to the Lord, for the husband is the head of the wife, just as Christ is the head of the church the body of which he is the Savior. And just as the church is subject to Christ, so also wives ought to be in everything to their husbands. Husbands, love your wives, just as Christ loved the church and gave himself up for her in order to make her holy by cleansing her with the washing of water by the word, so as to present the church to himself in splendor without a spot or wrinkle or anything of the kind. Yes, so that she may be holy and without blemish. 
In the same way, husbands should love their wives as they do their own bodies. He who loves his wife loves himself. For no one ever hates his own body, but he nourishes and tenderly cares for it, just as Christ does for the church, because we are members of his body. For this reason, a man will leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife, and the two will become one flesh. This is a great mystery, and I am applying it to Christ and the church. Each of you, however, should love his wife as himself, and a wife should respect her husband. Here ends the lesson. And now, in the words our Savior taught us, we're bold to say, our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. O God, turn us away from evil into the paths of good. Deliver us from the wicked and grant us peace in our day. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bless Jesus, my soul, and may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all now and forever. Amen. Alleluia.